What's up guys, my name is Isaiah and welcome back to School of Dragons. This is episode number three. And yeah, I know these uh, episodes are releasing a lot faster than, you know, everything else, but sorry, I'm just really into the game and I've been exploring all the new stuff. And as you can see, Spade is now level four. I'm pretty sure he was a level one when we actually last left off um, in episode two. So I've been doing a lot of out of episode work, but I haven't been doing the quests because I made, I, I, I tried really hard to uh, save the quests for in video because that's, you know, it's kind of like the main storyline. So I don't want to like miss out on those I'm doing. Uh, I don't want you guys to miss out on those, but I'm doing a lot of the, uh, like, we learn how to fish, and we learn how to farm, so I've been doing a lot of fishing and farming, and, uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm basically broke. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had so many, uh, coins, but I have been buying so much bait and everything. I've been buying, like, tons and tons of bait and, like, seeds and everything, and, yeah, as you can see, I've caught a lot of, I've caught a lot of stuff. I've caught, like... I don't even know what this is. Is that Arctic char and what's this? This is anglerfish and there's like, I don't know, herrings. I've caught so much stuff. I don't even know. So I'm not even planning to feed any of them to um, Spade. But the thing is, there's something called Johan's Job Board. And I'll show you that in a little while. We have a lot of stuff to cover today. So it might be a little bit of a longer episode. Um, so there's Johan's Job Board and he gives tasks for you to do. And it's basically a way for you to get some money. So that's I've been trying to get some money, but... It kind of is like uh, you spend some to get some because I need to buy the bait and then there's the risk of my line snapping and that's just a waste of bait if that happens because I don't get the bait back and there's all this crazy stuff so you have to spend a lot of money but uh, once you complete his tasks he gives you money back so it's like catch 10 eels, catch 10 herring or not or like catch 10 you know perch and they're all types of fish so once you do that you get money for completing it but you need to spend the money and you have to invest in bait and everything. Anyways, that's what his job board is like. There's also stuff for farming. That's all I have, farming and fishing. Uh, now let's talk about uh, Spade. I don't think I've showed you the Roast the Eel game, which is really fun. I'm really good at it. So I will I will show you that uh, towards the end of the episode probably. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing a lot of minor quests. So I finished the I finished the quest that we uh, left off in the last episode. I think we were like talking to, we had to talk to Bucket or something. Uh, I went ahead and finished that because that wasn't really a, a, a big thing. It was like, it was just another scientific kind of thing. You had to collect different types of rock and you measured the melting point and everything. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't anything pertaining to the actual like story and the development of you know any of the characters or anything like that. So yeah, uh, there is an alchemy game which we could play at Heather's lab. I will I will also show you that at the uh, near the end of the episode. So uh, at her lab, there's there's a game that you can play. It's called something like something to do with alchemy, but. It has absolutely nothing to do with alchemy. Like, seriously, it's it has to do with the periodic tables and the elements, but it has nothing to do with any of them. I'm like, oh, finally, exciting, because, you know, I like that kind of stuff, but I go in there, it's, like, nothing to do with it. So, yeah, that was a bit of a disappointment, but then again, the game isn't targeted to people my age. Anyways, uh, yeah, money shortage, you know, you understand all that stuff. I've literally prepared a list of things to talk about, because I know I'm going to forget stuff if I, yeah, if I just rely on something else. Uh, I got a ton of fish, and yeah, if you missed the last episode, we just did some farming, and we played a game called Fireball Frenzy uh, with Toothless. Once my dragon reaches level 5, which he's very close to, oh look at him, we can play it with our dragon, but as of now, he is still a baby, and he can't do that. So yeah, that's what's happened, uh, and stuff, so let's get right into it. I have been waiting to see what this new quest is, so I'm gonna go straight to the headmaster, who is just this really fat dude with a beard, and we're gonna ask him to see the quest, or to explain to us the quest. I know it's something about wilderness, but I tried not to talk too much about it, so yeah, let's get right into it. Hello. Are you ready for your next lesson? You yes, I am. You live out in the wild, just you and your dragon, or as I like to call it, lesson no toilet paper. The first step is to go find Gabber in the wilderness. There's a hidden pathway here at the school. Good luck. Okay, uh, beat Gabber in the wilderness, and I get 20 coins for doing that. Because I'm broke, and I really need stuff, so I really need monies. So, uh, yeah, the quest doesn't only, you know, help me do that. It also gets me some stuff, so, yeah, some cash, you know? Some quick cash, so pretty hyped about that. Let's get that 96 up to a 116. Uh, hello, Gobber. Where are you? So I'm, I'm jumping. I feel I feel like it's not even slower. I mean, it's not even faster, because in Minecraft you jump and you go faster, but anyways, let's go meet Gobber. Okay, meet Gobber in the wilderness. So is this the wilderness? Because it really doesn't look like it. Um, 
It still looks pretty civilized around here. Okay, where is he? Is that where he is? No, where is he? I don't see him. Uh, this arrow is going crazy. Okay, so it says he's like over here. What is that? The heck? Gobber, where are you? I don't see you, dude. Are you like, is that where I need to go? Oh, the arrow keeps changing. I, wait, oh no, he's right there. Okay, good. I was getting worried. I was like, what the heck am I supposed to do? Ooh, I can fish here. I have to keep that in mind, because like, the, depending on where you fish, you get new fish. So uh, I would definitely like to fish there. And then I'm going to have to spend more on bait, All but right. I need more points to do that. Alright, <laughs> I thought he was going to say something more. Okay, uh, get axe. I left one near the waterfall. Did you did you just leave axes lying around, really? It's like, oh yeah, you know, I just left my AK-47, you know, down there by the toy store. Just, you know, just go pick it up, I don't know. Why would you leave an axe near a waterfall? Uh, any Anyone could just come and, first of all, they could steal it. But I guess stealing isn't a thing in Burke. But they could come and, you know, take it. And I guess there's no crime in Burke, either. We Great all work. live as one. Think you can handle it? Yeah, yeah, man. Dude, like... Now that I think about it, Burke is like a bit of a utopia, dang. I mean, other than the dragons, but the dragons are nice too, so, uh, so, uh, the dragons are nice too, so like, what the heck? Oh, man. Oh, that animation, though. The woodcutting animation is on point. Oh, nice. Nice. Very nice. Yes. Boom. Boom. And just the whole, the whole tree just explodes. I love how all the trees are conveniently placed right next to each other, so I literally have to do no walking. Uh, what, what now? Oh, thanks. What? You? I didn't? Really? I could have sworn I didn't cut that many trees. I guess I get multiple logs from cutting one tree. Okay. Let's bring it back to Gobber. Look at all these cool dragons. Look at that one. Not dinosaur. Oh, jeez. That's, that, that, some of these dragons are like legit creepy. No, not that one. That one's not creepy. Like, that one, this, I mean, look at this thing. Alright, look. Please don't fly away, please. Just look at that. Imagine seeing that. It, it, like, I don't know. You're sleeping in your bed. You wake up in the middle of the night. Imagine seeing that creepy thing. Like, that thing scares the tr like, I don't know, it's, it's, wow, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't even, I, I can't, I don't even have words to describe my fear for that thing. It's not that bad, it's still pretty, it's still pretty scary, though. Let's get started. Okay, five stones. Why are we finding stones? <laughs> First step to surviving the wilderness. That's my gobber accent, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, I appreciate it. I know, really, I don't deserve all of this. How are stones, like, in any way... Shape or form crucial to our well. Oh, that, those are stones. Okay, how are they crucial to our survival? Like, I get that they can be helpful, but like, if you get stuck in the wilderness, the one thing you want to make sure you know how to do is chop down trees with your handy dandy axe that you will most definitely have on you, and collect rocks because that is how you survive. You know, forget bear girls. I'm gonna listen to gobber. Okay, well, uh, what what the what I miss? Where's the stone? Oh. Says it's over here. I don't see it. I don't see it. Where are you? Oh, over here. Oh, I see a little sparkling stone over here. Oh, here it is. Okay, hi. Uh, now where do we go? Three out of five. Thank you very much. Oh, they're right over there. Oh, wait. What's that? Oh, the, are those mystery chests? Oh, yeah. Uh, another way I goodly spent my money was opening these things. They cost a ton of gems to open or, or cash. It depends. I'm just going to call it cash. <laughs> Yeah, so, wow, that was a lot of lag right there. Major frame rate drop. Anyways, yeah, so you can open those, and they kind of give you good stuff, but mostly it's rubbish. So, yeah, I didn't well, know that. I kind of just wasted my money. Get Took your time here. on that one. Hey, hey, I was constantly running. Gosh. Oh, shoot, Spade is, like, flipping dying. Uh, okay, uh, first of all, I need to, I need to, I need to feed you, actually. Okay, let's feed him some of the many fish we have. Let's feed him some halibut. There we go. Uh, let's feed him some- oh shoot, no, 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 spade. Okay, first let me get your happiness up, actually. Uh, I would do the roasted eel, but I want to save that for later. Uh, I'll just play with him, because the roasted eel also, um, the roasted eel also increases happiness. I guess we will increase his happiness one more time until the end of the episode, so we have enough time to play the roasted eel game, okay? Yeah, come on, spade. Oh, I don't even think I've showed you guys this. This is how you increase his happiness. Oh, no, I think I have. Maybe I have. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a while since I recorded the second episode, because I recorded the first and second, like, back-to-back, -back, so... Or almost back to... What are you doing? Or almost back-to-back, -back, so yeah. Uh, that's why I need to make, make a list. Oh, he's happy. He is super happy. Okay, we just need to feed him now. That's why I needed to make a list to remember everything, so... Uh, hello? What the... Flip. Spade. Fam. Come on. Come on. Don't be like this. 
Thank you. I will give you some anglerfish. Because, you know, everyone loves some good anglerfish. Oh, God. Disgusting. Can you imagine eating anglers? Ugh. Look at the... Uh, nice glitching, bro. Look at that arrow bar. What does it have? <laughs> That's some nice glitches you got there, bro. Nice. Very nice. All right, Gobber. Yes, I'm sure I want to give five stones to him. I just collected rocks. Finally. Water and food. Something that is actually, like, helpful. Find the fishing spot. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's, like, right here. So, there we go. Found it. Now what do you do? Oh. Oh, it's, like, right. Okay, we gotta walk to it. Alright, cool. Uh, what now? Thank you. I thought it was gonna crash on me again. Ah, oh, remember last episode? Catch one brown trout. Ah, I actually got a brown trout already. Can I just give it to you? Don't worry. Shh, don't tell him. Don't tell him, but we already have brown trout because we fished, like, crazy... No, I, I already... Alright, well, I'm gonna have to actually go do it, aren't I? <sighs> Flip! Oh, I gotta buy bait now. I'm broke, don't you see? Alright, you know what? I'll get some lugworm, I guess. Okay, one. I'm very cheap. Look how much... It costs eight. Okay, that's a lot when I have 96. It's like a twelfth of my supply. What, the, what are you doing? Come on, man. Alright, let's go. Cast. Okay. Ah, uh, there's nothing better than fishing in Burke. What are these people doing? Look at that creative username. I love it. Oh, my God. Okay, strike. A flippin' heron. Thank you. Thank you. That's exactly what I would have loved to get right now. Thank you so much for a heron. <sighs> Such a challenge. Everyone, you gotta really time your reels. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, okay. My fishing rod is, like, absolute trash, I swear. Like, it's the worst. Seriously, I need a new rod, but I don't want to spend how much it costs. It costs so much to get a new rod. But seriously... Uh, my, 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 yeah, my fishing rod right now is, like, complete trash. It's horrible. Okay, caught one herring. Thank you. Now, I get to buy more bait, which I love. Don't I just love buying more bait? You know what? I just waste a whole flipping money on it, yeah? Just 32 bucks, okay? Guess how much I have now? I probably have, like, 40-something. Or, no, sorry. 50, 56, probably. Uh, so, yeah. Come on. Please. Please work. Why are you taking so long to process my purchase? This is the dumbest thing you could be doing right now. Oh, oh, great. My purchase failed. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I will try it again. I will try spending all of my money again as if I was right in subtraction. 56, come on. Thank you. Purchase complete. 56. I am good at subtraction. All right, uh, Spade's not asleep. As you can tell by the very comical Zs there. Uh, okay. Are we gonna get a fish? Please, please. Yay. A flippin' viper fish. Do you know how exotic these things are? When I try to catch one, I won't get one, seriously, but if I try to catch a brown trout, a common brown trout, no, no, it's not gonna happen, buddy. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna let me do it, are you? <sighs> God, I just wanna... A oh, brown trout, please. I'm, a, like, a master of fishing now, I swear. Because I've been fishing, like, all the time out of episode, but still. Okay, there we go. Angler, are you doing? Another viper fish. Oh, oh my god. Please, please. I just want a perfect trout. Fourth times the charm. What are you doing? Why are you floating above the water on your dragon? I don't understand what you're fi- oh, okay. What the heck is she doing? Like, uh, what exactly are you trying to accomplish here? Because I feel like you're glitching beyond belief. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. About the most expensive bait there is, minnows. They cost 12, uh, thingies, and, ah, great, Sa salmon, the hardest salmon, the hardest, the hardest fish, I believe, in the game to catch, right? Yeah. And my rod's gonna break. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. If I don't get, I'm finally a stupid brown trout. Come, come to Papa. Come to Papa. I actually, I'm gonna try to get this one. No. I swear, if the rod breaks, I'm going to quit this game right now. The series is gonna end with my rod breaks right now. Come on, come on. Why is this so t Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, I went way too far on that one. Sorry. Okay. Uh, no. Stay in the green. Thank you very much. Okay, finally, we caught it. Thank you. <sighs> Great. Yes, I am a natural. Fire roasted? You're gonna fire roast the brown trout. Alright, let's let's go give him the flippin' brown trout. Okay. Want your brown trout? Here's your brown trout. Well done. Thank let's you. get started. Uh-huh. Find a run ruin ruin stone. Why why did I say run? <laughs> However, am I going to find it? There definitely isn't a flip and arrow pointing to the exact location of it or anything. And it isn't like glowing in the dark. 
What? Possibly, you literally could put a sign on this thing and Just say, This is the like rune stone. And that's the only way that it could be more obvious. Light the fire pit by Gobber in camp. Okay, let's go light the fire pit. Uh, where's, where's the fire pit? Where? I don't see a fire pit. Is that it? Wait, no. That's just, <laughs> that's just Gobber. That's not a fire pit. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, no, that's just, okay. Wow, that was mean. What's that? That's just a chest. Or is this it? Is this the fire pit? Okay, let's light this thing. Boom. Even small Hey, what are you trying to, what are you trying to say, buddy? Are you calling Spade a runt? Huh? No, he's... Don't, don't listen to him, Spade. You're, you're perfect. Okay, Dr. Gobber, although I'm probably going to get a dragon that's much better than me. Sorry. I'm impressed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, let's get the coins. You see, now, it's funny because I actually ended up losing coins. Uh, yeah, I, I ended up losing coins on this, like, tr journey uh, rather than gaining them. Let's get started. Oh, my God. Okay, I get some more coins here, I guess. Let's just do this. Speak with Eret at the docks in Burke. Eret? Isn't he the guy from How to Train Your Dragon 2? He's the... He's the, uh, whatchamacallit. He was the dragon hunter who worked, who, <laughs> worked, who worked for, uh... Drago, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the guy, but then he like became good or something. I don't know. Okay, uh, I don't remember the movie quite well. I, sh I probably should. Okay, let's go talk to Eric. Where are you? Oh, no, seriously, where is he? Oh, I think he's down there. Wait, why does it keep doing this? Why does it keep switching? Arrow, tell me where to... Why does the arrow keep switching? Is he like right here? Oh, and the docks in Burke. Oh, uh, do we have to go to Burke? Let's go to the world map and travel. Uh, Burke, 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 Burke. There we go. Let's go to Burke. Eret, son of Eret, where art thou? <laughs> uh, oh, this is Johan's trading post, by the way. So this is where I get all the jobs and stuff. There's also one of those, like, little, uh, shops in my farm that, uh, is one of his little thingies in my farm. Um, so I can also look there. By the way, that's what I wanted to show you last episode, but it didn't work. So my dragon can actually light them. So I guess, I guess it's only for those big things that I didn't place. So, yeah. Uh, did I go to the wrong place? Because this arrow is going wacky again. Uh, am I supposed to, like, go down? Oh, I think I'm supposed to go down. Okay, let's go to this docks over here. And let's see where he is. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Finally. Jeez, do he has a natter, really? I, oh, no. Wait, what? Snot loud? The heck? No, I don't want you. No, go away. What? Okay. Where is Eret? Where are you? Please, show yourself. Why are you trying to hide from me? I'm just looking for a quest, man. Hey, there he is. Eret, what up? My man. Come on. I think that's him, right? That looks a lot like Eric. Okay. Here's a new face. Glad to meet you, mate. Why does he have an Australian? I'm Eric, son of Eric. Yep. Uh, ten building stone. What? Did, did he give them to me? Huh, whatever. Take the building box to Snotlout. There! Finally. Now we go to Snotlout. We didn't go to Snotlout before. The game glitched. The little exclamation thing should have been on Eric's head. If I didn't know who Eric was, I would be standing around here all day thinking he was a civilian. And nothing will happen, you see? Okay. Where's Snotlout? I'm pretty sure he's, like, not this far away. Did I, did I make a mistake? No, I didn't. No, I think he's up here. Yeah. No, wait, what? Where'd he go? Where is Snot? No, yeah, he's right here. I'm pretty sure he's, like, to my left right now. Right? Please be there. Please be there. Thank you. What up, Snotlout? Yeah. I'm sure I want to give that Whoa, stuff to you. Awesome. I mean, it'd be cool if you could handle it for me. Uh, what if I don't want to be cool? If I don't want to be, can I just not? Alright, well, we'll do it anyway. Gonna walk all the way back to speak with Hiccup. Fantastic. Yo, Hiccup. It's not like I has got a message for you. I don't, I don't, I don't really know anything about it. I just, I just kind of like skipped all the messages because I was too lazy to read it. That's besides the point though. Oh, there you are. I was looking everywhere for you. <gasps> Toothless, what up? Do you still sound like a girl? Attention to your journal. It can help you be a better Viking. Yep, apparently so. Okay, let's talk to Hiccup. Hey. Hey. That's a lot of stuff for just saying, hey, okay. Uh, we're a family hey, and stuff. Uh, got a moment to talk? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Mm, it's not like I'm doing anything better. Or, like, I want to get... Uh, spade leveled up. Or... <gasps> Cloud Jumper! I want to I wanna actually meet Cloud Jumper. Oh, fuck up! Oh, dude. Yeah, we stand together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, what now? To... Come on. Hey! I leveled up to level 9. <gasps> Spade's level 5! Wait, wait, wait. Can, can, I, can I make him, like, an adult now? Please, help me out. Yes, help your rank 5 dragon girl in the hatchery. Uh, okay. I I'll do it. I'll do it, don't worry. 
Okay, so uh, I think uh, time's up for this episode, but next episode, we are going to see Spade grow into a teenager. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, it's going to be so fantastic. Make sure you stick around for that one. Uh, that was actually, yeah, quick, but that's because I did most of the stuff out of episode. Anyways, let us... Uh, wait, what the... No! No! After I complete a quest, he gets all goody-goody. Alright, you know what? It's fine. We're gonna play the eel game anyway. Uh, what did I want to show you as the eel game? Mm, the alchemy game, that's right. Okay. So we're gonna do the eel game, then we're gonna do the alchemy game, and we're gonna call it a day, okay? So, we need the colored, uh, we need green-colored eels, so when they come up, you gotta shoot them like that. Right? Okay. There we go. So, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna put some music in the background, because this music sounds a bit weird. I don't know why. Okay, we're coming to the end of the episode. First of all, where are all the green ones here? Like, what the heck? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, got a bunch of points there. Alright. I think we're gonna, uh, stop it there. So that's, that's how the eel, uh, roast the eel game works. Uh, so yeah, I really like it. It's really nice. Now I'm gonna run over the alchemy game because I'm gonna get there as quick as I can. Uh, sorry, Gobbert. I don't really want to do that hatchery thing now. Look at Stormcutter. Oh, she looks awesome! Oh my god, that that's like the best. Okay, okay, uh, we're gonna go over the School of Dragons real quick, and I'm just gonna real quickly show you the alchemy game, and yeah. So I told you this episode was gonna be a bit of a long one, but yeah, uh, let's, let's try to get it done quickly. Okay, here we are. We're at the lab, and there's Heather over there, so I'm not gonna actually do anything to her. We're just gonna go in here and play the game. Okay, so do you want to purchase boosters? I'm good. So, yeah. It looks all scientific with their alkali metals and stuff, but literally there's nothing to it. So this has nothing to do with science. The liter literally the goal of the game is Candy Crush, but easier. So you just have to drag three um, of the same color next to each other, and you know they make a they make a little thing. But the thing is, you don't you can like drag them all the way across the screen. Look, watch. I can just go like whoa. Okay, I just go anywhere I want. Like it's it's I don't I don't understand why it's like that, but that's how it is. So yeah, I can just. Uh, I can just, you know, go basically anywhere and nothing's gonna happen, so, and, you know, half the time it just makes its own combination, too, so, I don't even have to do any of the work some of the time, so, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not too hard of a game, it's pretty fun just to see how, 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 how fast you can press and slide things over, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point, yeah, so, uh, just gonna speed this up real quick, so, uh, yeah, you get the basis of the game, so you can just watch me play it real quick. Okay, so that was the game, and I got 13,000 points. Great. I think- wait. I think that's the- Is that the exact same one I got last time? Oh no, I got- I got- I got, uh, I got 12.3. I, I played this game once, and I got 13,000, so as usual, I got worse. Ugh, great. Fantastic. That's exactly what I was expecting. Anyways, that is gonna do it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Episode 4 will be out shortly. Yeah, I'm kind of putting these faster than other series like I have said before, but I'm getting really into the game and I kind of want to do the quest, but I can't because I gotta record, so therefore that leads me to recording more. So anyways, yeah, that's, that's, that's about it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!